Hello folks. This is the latest Louis Lamore book I read. Notice it's the Sackett series. And yes, I paid two dollars for it in that bundle of books for sixty dollars I got. Used books. The Daybreakers. The copyright is not February nineteen sixty, but February nineteen sixty. Now, I did not read this in the last 20 years. It's possible I read it 40 years back and forgot all about it. I doubt it, but it's possible. And what about the plot? Um, this has two of the Sackett brothers. Now, curiously, a book I read a couple, three years ago, referred to the two Sackett brothers living together with their mother when visited by a third brother who was the topic of that book. So that was kind of interesting. I remember that. The uh, Each brother gets interested in a girl. One, a blonde girl. The other one is a Mexican. But she's not really Mexican. She's Basque, Spanish, and Irish mixed. Yeah, she had the me Mexican citizenship in 1867. Note that it's a 150-year-old uh, uh, topic they're talking about. Now, what happens is the brothers and two of their friends, I was actually not real happy with the, towards the end. They kind of get at odds with their friends a little bit. So I wasn't happy how one fellow turned out. And I don't want to give it away. I thought I was going to give more details, but I won't. So that made me like this book less than some of the Louis L'Amour books. And it takes place, a lot of it, around Santa Fe, New Mexico, and uh, current Idaho. And uh, someone I met recently is from Idaho. And, of course, there's bad guys in the typical thing. Uh, Welsh and Irish, I guess that's because of the Louis L'Amour, some of the background, some French, some Spanish. Um, I can recommend it for $2. Uh, actually, if you had a bunch of these, I might put it in the bottom half of the Sackets group, and maybe I'd pick out if I was in a new bookstore, and I knew that, I might pick out a couple of the others. But not that it's bad reading. And certainly worth a couple of books. Um, a comment I wanted to make when I was young and going back 40, 48 years, uh, I started to read westerns. Um, I liked Zane Grey better. It occurred to me why I liked Zane Grey better then. Not in recent decades, not since I moved to Iowa. I liked Louis Lamore better. They're both, of course, very renowned authors and they do a lot more in life than I could do. But I kind of figured out the reason, I think. There was an old movie from 50 years ago and uh, I saw it, or part of it on TV, I believe, a few years after it came out. A Western movie based on a Louis L'Amour book. And I didn't like one of the protagonist, one of the actors in the movie. I didn't like it, the movie, because I didn't like one of these actors. So I think that's one of the main reasons I liked uh, Zane Grey better. Also, my library had more. My local city library had more Zane Grey books. They had a whole series of them, hardcover books. And I believe I read all the ones in the library over a period of a year or two. And that's just kind of curious. So I do remember things from 40 or 50 years ago. Uh, I might talk about a fantasy book. Now, I read it in the last 20 years, but I had remembered very little of it. But I did remember enough that I knew I had read it. So this is a thing about reading books and forgetting them. Uh, a, a very distinguished elderly woman in her 70s, I knew way back 30 years ago in the New England states. 
she would reread a series of books every couple of years, and I would do it every four or five years. That's at the point where you forget much of the plot and so many of the details, and it makes for good reading again. So I, I do better than most. I think I'm getting stupid because I don't remember everything exactly 40 years ago, but that's not quite true. So here I'm kind of going on, and good luck, folks, and I'll be doing, I plan to do several more of these reviews.